Hey guys and welcome to a new video on Vital Geek. Today I'm going to be looking into a potential security issue with Eufy security cameras. Let's check it out. So quick disclaimer before we get into the meat of this video, I'm not a Eufy influencer. In, in any way. I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. I'm merely just a end user who uses their products and that's what I review and produce content for on this channel. So without further ado, basically what we're going to look at is something that has been highlighted to me. Now over a year ago I did a video on the Eufy 2K wireless uh, doorbell. Um, had over 30,000 views on the channel um, at, you know you can imagine at that time the channel was a lot smaller than what it was so a significant number of views on that product and you know I, I've used that um, doorbell uh, constantly since that uh, review um, was done and I've subsequently also bought the Eufy 2C um, video cameras as well uh, so I'm quite invested in the Eufy uh, security systems I guess you know looking at it from that point of view Personally, on a day-to-day -day basis, I have no problem with their products. Uh, you know, they, they work fine. The battery life, uh, as advertised, is pretty decent uh, and close to what they advertise in my usage of it. So, you know, for me, uh, you know, when somebody raises a comment uh, on that video, uh, which somebody did do uh, recently, saying, you know, um, there's, a, there's an issue, um, the potential issue that has been discussed on the Eufy forums and was I aware of it you know a lot of YouTubers don't seem to be covering that um, you know I thought well okay let's take a little bit more into this I wasn't uh, aware of this problem because obviously everything was working fine for me so I put up a little um, post on my community tab just saying you know I mean for me you know a lot about this channel is having integrity on the reviews that I do and if somebody says something is massively wrong with a product and there's a major security risk potentially that, that could be going on then you know I need to look into that I feel you know if I've got 30,000 people look at one of my videos then I need to kind of do due diligence and kind of you know look into what potentially could be the problem here so I went on a bit of an exercise in looking into this problem now what is reported on the Eufy forums is that there is a potential for your recorded footage to be wiped off your local um, home base storage um, if somebody basically um, steals your camera and um, your doorbell video doorbell and then resyncs that device to another home base now I thought you know before I go ahead and do this video uh, and you know shouting down Eufy and Anchor that I would actually try and reach out to them to discuss this particular thread on their forum. Now I sent email after email after email after email to literally every single one of the departments that I could find connected to Eufy and Anchor and um, you know I'll, for, for people that are content creators most of the time you're dealing with kind of like their press office or their media team that's kind of like your first point of contact because anything else is really kind of uh, you know a, a support desk and I had absolutely zero response from those avenues uh, the only response I actually had was from the support team uh, which basically said you know you might get a response if you join the influencer program uh, which is obviously something that I didn't want to do and probably won't ever be able to join ever again after this video um, but uh, you know I even reached out to them on Twitter uh, sent, sent them a tweet saying you know hopefully somebody will reply to my emails sent them a DM confirming some of the email addresses I, I must admit you know they, they are quite slow on the social media channels so you know there's, there's an element of, um, of, of kind of like delay to all of that there but not responding to any of the emails and, and none of those emails were coming back as bounced emails so uh, you know I'm assuming they've been delivered 
So what exactly is the issue then? Well, so as I say, this there is a, a, a thread on the Eufy forums. It goes back over a year. In fact, there are two threads on this. One of them has previously been archived, and there is a new one which has been, uh, you know, collates all the information together. Now, there's a particular user, I'm not going to uh, name names, on, the, on, not on this video, but basically they've been kind of getting in touch with Eufy and trying to take this forward to try and come up with some kind of resolution. Now this started uh, over a year ago. The problem was highlighted, as I say, is basically if somebody steals your, your doorbell camera um, and then takes that away from your property and resyncs just by pressing the button, resyncs the device to uh, another home base, then the footage that is on your home base is uh, effectively erased. Now, you know, obviously the idea of you having a home base is so that you've got that local storage, you know, you've, you've got the content there should you need to get access to it if somebody steals your, your doorbell or your, cam your camera. Now the reason why it does this is because um, the footage is encrypted with an identifier from your device. So when somebody effectively resyncs it, it generates a new identifier and that's why you can no longer get to that footage. Now, uh, by all accounts, this doesn't seem to be the case if you use their cloud storage. Uh, the, the cynic in you might say, isn't Eufy trying to push users into using their cloud storage? Well, you know, the home base was there from the very start. You know, this is with the 2K doorbell, yeah, it's the second generation home base. So, um, you know, I think the, the thing is, is that, you know, Eufy have offered that as a solution to their users. Um, you know, the cloud was completely optional. So, you know, this, this thread has continued on their forum. The initial responses were uh, from Eufy that this was by design, uh, which obviously, as you can imagine, didn't go down that well on the forum. And uh, subsequent responses from kind of like their support team was that this was being taken away, was being looked at internally, and there would be hopefully a solution to this relatively quickly. So it's at this point of the video where tumbleweed really probably should be blowing by because the responses from Eufy have been uh, few and far between. They've, they've done this partial uh, fix for it, which they've had to go and roll back. Uh, so there isn't actually a solution to this. In fact, at the end of 2021, uh, there is still no progress and users are reporting that the problems still uh, exist in current range of Eufy products. So obviously it wouldn't be right of me to just go and roll out what is reported in the Eufy forums without trying this out myself. So I've got my Eufy 2K wireless doorbell here. Uh, I've eventually had to take it down to go and charge the battery, but it's obviously not the point of this video. And I've got the Eufy app running on my mobile phone. So um, I've got some clips here on the, on the phone. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, click on the sync button. So apparently you've got to hold this down for 10 seconds. So as you can see there, all the footage related to the doorbell has now gone. I've got no access to that on my home base too, um, you know, which you know, if it's using a unique ID, uh, then you know, to, to encrypt the content, then you know, that is understandable, I guess, from that point of view. It's not brilliant, um, but you can understand why you might not be able to access it. Uh, if I go into my uh, footage from a 2C camera, that is all still there. So it's not wiped everything out from my account. It's only the device that I've gone and uh, resynced. Now, obviously, if, if somebody was to steal both devices, they could quite easily take all the footage and I'd have nothing at all to get as, as evidence of, of who's gone and taken those devices. I think you have to take a look at this from both angles. Obviously, from Eufy's point of view, they probably felt that using um, some kind of identifier from the device and a another parameter to go and encrypt the storage locally was a good idea. However, from a user's perspective, um, with there being an increase uh, reported in the media of um, smart doorbells, because lots more people are having these things installed on their property, being an increase of um, smart doorbells being stolen, that actually, you know, basically you've got no, you potentially have got no evidence of who is actually um, stealing your smart doorbell. 
Now, obviously, you know, you've know you got the cloud storage as, a, as an option, but if you don't want to be paying for cloud storage, then you, know, you need to be relying upon your, uh, your local home base. You know, do you need to have another security device looking down towards your doorbell? You know, these are the things that users shouldn't have to do. They should have faith in the products that they buy, especially when they are touted as being security products. So I think this is a poor show from Eufy. I think, you know, as, as a brand, I, you know, personally, I like the products. I like the design of them. They function very, very well. I've had no issues whatsoever. However, this is worrying that, you know, the lack of response, which is not normal for Eufy, you know, they are quite responsive in my um, you know, in my instance where I've had support tickets with them, they are quite responsive. However, this clearly is such an issue for them that they, they completely seem unable to resolve. Um, you know, that they've effectively pulled down the shutters on this and decided to ignore users. You know, they've just updated uh, the software for the, the Eufy ecosystem and there isn't a fix for this in that at all. Now, I, personally, I think, you know, and if you for your anchor are watching this video, um, I think, you know, the least you could do is offer for those users that have home bases is that you offer them free cloud storage until you can get a fix in place or until those users migrate away from your system. But to completely ignore it and effectively put somebody's, uh, you know, device, which at the end of the day, it, you know, these aren't cheap. You know, these are in some instances nearly two hundred pounds, and if people have bought into the ecosystem, could be could be running into the hundreds of pounds. Then you should be standing by your product and doing something that reassures users that you know they aren't going to lose out here. So, what can you do about this? Then, well, obviously the first option is to use that cloud storage. Uh, you know, yes, it is a cost. It's a cost that you probably didn't factor in when you paid out for the home base as well, uh, because obviously you had 16 gig of storage on that home base. So, you know, I think, um, you know, that that's probably going to annoy uh, people from that point of view. Um, there are kind of security jackets you can get for Eufy uh, doorbells. Um, there doesn't seem to be one for the 2K wireless doorbell. Um, but, you know, I'm potentially something like that might come on the market at some point, but there, there is one for the kind of like the original wired version. Um, you could just move to another uh, security system. You know, um, whether they, they've all got the similar kind of thing, I don't, I don't know. It's highly unlikely. You could secure it differently. You know, if you've got this just attached onto a fairly flimsy doorway or something like that, that's an easy target to take off, uh, then you know, you probably want to secure it onto something a little bit more more robust. Uh, although seeing some of the footage of uh, what tools thieves are using to try and get these off, um, you know, you, you're probably limited really, but is what you could do there. Um, but there are various th threads on things like Reddit and, you know, some of the forums and things like that that have got different ideas on what you can do to secure these. At the end of the day, you know, this is an inherent risk on, you know, you've got technology out in the open. Um, you know, you have to understand that risk. Uh, you know, if you're not comfortable with having uh, an expensive device sat out in the open, um, certainly with the doorbells, which are, at, you know, obviously, you know, human height, you know, your cameras are probably pointed up a lot, a lot higher, something like that. But a doorbell is, is very much uh, kind of like shoulder height. Then, you know, there is a, a, an inherent risk on those devices uh, when they're when they're outside, so you know you have to understand how comfortable you are uh, with with basically sticking you know 150 pounds attached to the to your door outside. Um, but you know at the end of the day, I think for me, uh, you know I'm going to carry on using the Eufy devices. Uh, you know I think mine is secure enough. Uh, I have other security measures in place that that can't be. Um, you know, that, that effectively acts as a, a bit of a deterrent for this. However, uh, you know, I say it again, Yuffie, you know, if you are actually watching this video um, or, you know, people are sharing this around or whatever, then you need to do something about this. You know, certainly if this still exists in your product range of security devices, this is a huge 
flaw in your security system. It's as simple as that. And you will lose customers through your lack of interaction and resolution of the problem. And that would be a real shame given that a lot of these current users backed you on Kickstarter in the first place. So there you go guys, that is my thoughts on this Eufy issue. I'd love to see your comments down below. I, you know, I'm only a small YouTuber. Um, you know, if you like this video and share this video and comment, then this will get traction. Uh, you know, at the end of 2021, there was only one other very, very short video on YouTube that actually talked about this problem. So clearly a lot of people don't want to be talking about this, which I can understand you know, if you're sponsored in any way by Anchor or Eufy, then you know, you've, you've probably signed some agreement with them. However, you know, if, if I've gone and done a video and recommended something to you guys, you know, I need to stand by that. And at the moment, um, you know, it's kind of dodgy territory here for Eufy. So share this as much as you can. Uh, I would really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you know, I don't do many videos of this particular type. So, you know, this isn't some kind of um, ranting channel. Uh, so if you're looking for more of this kind of content, you're not going to get much more of this uh, on a regular basis. Um, but, you know, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.